So I'm starting CrossFit. A lot of my church do go. Uh, uh. So taking a midday break, but I've had the longest day walk to campus before the sun was even up because I have to TA a class that starts at 8 a.m. And Tuesdays and Thursdays are just gonna be super long days, but it's like random little breaks in between, so I finally just came home. But just wanted to give you an update on how the sugar detox is going. Who's with me out there? Comment below if you're actually doing the sugar detox. Um, but the hardest things that I've seen for me, and granted I am allowing a little bit of stevia because my protein powder, Tribe Out Time, is made with only stevia, it's all natural, but I'm allowing that in my diet. Um, and then like any naturally occurring sugars like in dairy and in um, fruit. So with that, my hardest things are number one, giving up my gummy vitamins. Number two, not having my flavored coffee creamer in my coffee in the mornings or in the afternoon. I've been getting on this like two cups of coffee a day thing lately. Ooh. Um, what else? Oh, um, just like any kind of like dressings, marinade, sriracha, ketchup, those things I like live off of and I have to be careful with those. I went out to sushi the other night, if you saw my snap story, and couldn't get anything with sriracha on it, so I used wasabi instead as my spice. Um, what else was there? Oh, I like got my pickles, that I, my butter pickles that I usually always eat, and then all of a sudden I realized, Sarah, that has sugar in them, so I couldn't eat, I can't eat those for like the next half week, even though I have them. Um, just like at nighttime it's super hard because of that's when like my cravings really come on, but I try to substitute any kind of like sweet cravings with frozen banana slices, dried fruit, and then I like made homemade protein bars with my Tribe Out Time vegan protein. Um, that don't have any added sugar in them, so they're not as sweet as I would normally like my protein bars, but they're fine for me. Um, but yeah, I have a lot of protein bar recipes on my website, freshfinhealthy.com, if you need any. Um, both baked and unbaked, no bake, whatever you want to say. Um, but yeah, so that is that. This is the first week of spring classes. Excited, but taking a lot of classes, and when they're graduate level, it's hard, so it's gonna be stressful, um, but all in all, it's great. TAing for an undergrad sports nutrition class, and it sounds like super interesting. I wish I would've had a class available like that in my undergraduate program, but I didn't. So, that is that. And now I'm going to show you little pieces of what I packed for like breakfast and lunch because of being on a sugar detox, like I, it's now, what time is it? It's like four, I have class again at five, but I haven't been home since 7 a.m. Six, yeah, 6.45 a.m., 7 a.m. So I'll show you how I did that on a sugar detox, and then, yeah. Just stay tuned to anything else fun I have for you guys. What I just showed you, plus an orange, um, my homemade protein bar that I just talked about earlier, and then some nuts and dried fruit. So that is what I've had so far, and I'm starving now, so let's go eat. Sugar detox is over, it is Sunday, and I'm excited, and now I'm gonna go eat some sugar. but. As a little overview, I wrote a post and I'm sharing some really yummy banana blender muffins on my blog, freshmanhealthy.com. So go to my blog to read about the things that were tough for me, but also the couple things that I accidentally ate that did have sugar in them. 
so I didn't actually complete it. But like I said, guys, this is not out of restriction or wanting to lose weight. This was literally just wanting to kind of clear my body. So I'm happy with how I feel with just getting all the sweets out of my system for a week. I don't care that I'm not being like legalistic. Like, oh my gosh, I like had sugar with my wasabi peas that I didn't know had sugar in them. So, <laughs> that is that. And this is bright light, ooh, ooh. But, all right, gonna go shopping now because I need some Nike shoes for volunteering because I'm volunteering with the student athletes at Florida State this semester. So, that is what I'm doing. Hope you guys enjoy this little synopsis, me randomly talking. So I just wanted to tune in really quickly because, yeah, I have to wear seminal stuff right now for work. It's mandatory to buy, and not buy, to have seminal gear because I'm working in the stadium with the student athletes here. If you guys have been following me at all, you know that when I was back in Gainesville at UF for undergrad, I worked with those student athletes. And now I'm here working with the Seminoles. So I had to go out and buy Seminole stuff because I don't own this color. I don't own anything that says FSU on it. <laughs> Not a loyal Seminole fan. Um, but yeah, so heading into that right now, I do that about six hours a week. And then, exciting news because I am starting CrossFit tonight. Woohoo! People are either like love or hate it. I don't know. I just want to try something new. I feel unmotivated right now to work out or do anything like crazy. I like never finish a workout feeling like, oh my gosh, I'm so exhausted. So I decided I need something to inspire me again. So I'm starting CrossFit. A lot of my church don't go uh, uh. <coughs> A lot of my church goes and like does CrossFit, so I figured it would be a great thing for me to do. And it would be a social thing, it would be a fitness thing, it's just great. So those are my two things I'm doing today. And hope you guys enjoyed the blog post on my sugar detox, on those really delicious blender banana muffins. If you haven't been following me on Instagram or Snapchat, you should do that. Until next time, click the thumbs up, like this video, and subscribe if you aren't already. Bye guys. I'm back. I was just kidding. I'm not, I'm not done yet. But I just got done with my first wolf well, training CrossFit session. It's hard guys. It's hard. It's really hard. <laughs> we like just went through training of all the movements so that we don't get hurt. Which people say they CrossFit, you are, you're always injured, they don't care about form. They do. Like, I've gone through two hours last night and two hours this tonight of training of how to do everything correctly. So, I'm good to go. But they made us do like a seven minute workout of like as many rounds as possible. I died, guys. I like don't remember pushing myself that hard since when I was an athlete for college. Because like lately I just like puts around at the gym. So I'm so excited to be starting CrossFit, to be doing this. I'm gonna try to start on my longer days, Tuesdays and Thursdays, do the 6 a.m. class so that I just like get my day started. But that's gonna be a hard schedule to get on, so we'll see how that turns out. And I just got my, it's called Stitch Fix. And it's basically, you like do this whole questionnaire, like what kind of style you like, your size, what things like, you like in style clothing and everything and they like like pick out clothes for you and send you a package of clothes and then if you like them that's when you keep them and pay for them and if you don't like them you just send them all back how cool a company is that yeah so i just got my first one and i might be doing a giveaway soon so stay tuned to that one until next time guys <laughs> bye